Well, folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great weekend, safe weekend. Let's make it a great week, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow up 48, NASDAQ up 18, S&P's up 12, gold contract down $3.20 trading at 1,572 an ounce. Silver off two cents at twenty-seven dollars and twenty cents an ounce. Platinum down two bucks at one thousand five thirty-five an ounce. Copper up three pennies at three thirty-seven a pound. Light sweet crude up eighty-three cents trading out at ninety-three dollars and fifty-four cents a barrel. Bonds down twenty-seven ticks at one forty-seven oh five. King dollar up 292 ticks at 82.89. Euro up 13 at 130 and the yen to the moon, folks, meaning even weaker. Up a buck 78 at 99.35. I'll tell you, amazing. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Cash S&P, what do we have? We have seven and a half bucks. We are at 15.60. These highs are going to get uh, tested out, folks. The cash S&P, it's 157366. It's going to go for it. Dow Industrials, same setup on the Dow Industrials. And what you have with the Dow Industrials right now, we are at the Dow uh, is up uh, 48 bucks out here. We're at 14,613. That's saying that your 14,683 number is going to go, uh, 684 number is going to go get hit. Now, in both cases, what you have here is this. We did 470 million chairs today versus downtown with uh, 725. So in the context, that's to me, that's just going to be a test. NASDAQ composite. Now watch this. The composite and the small caps, folks, are doing a B to a C of an ABC structure on the way down. The reason that the S&P isn't and the Dow and the Dow isn't is that they never came down far enough, really, uh, to make a, a good A to B point. But it, it's a consolidation and go to the highs. I suspect we'll get over it will spike over the highs, have lighter volume close underneath them. But now check this out. So you, your composite, composite today up 18 bucks. We did 1.2 billion versus 1.6. Now. The composite at 32.22 can run all the way up to like 32.45. You know, I mean, this thing can get there real easy. I suspect it's going to. Uh, you had the expansion today with dramatically lighter volume. That's a B to a C of an ABC structure on the way down. If you want to see it inside the NDX 100, it's about as clear as you can get. You know, we came down with 55 million shares. You're up today with 17 million. The Qs are at 68.22. I'd love to see them get all the way up to like 68.70, uh, 60, yeah, 68.77. You know, bottom line, um, that would be the firing off uh, point. Small caps, Russell 2000. Now, remember, the Russell 2000 was the weakest indice coming off the highs, dramatic volume. Uh, Russell 2000 was up eight bucks today. We're at 931, that Russell 2000 get up to 940. And that's a big number, by the way. Uh, if we look at the IWM, inside the IWM, this is what you have. The iShares, today uh, we go up 76 cents, 28 million shares. That's after being downtown with 65 million. IWM is at 92.49. This baby can run all the way up to this uh, 93.75, you know. And, you know, this is this is this is a trader's paradise, folks. That's the real bottom line. Um, particularly because, so you have the divergence, and that divergence, of course, is that you know uh, people are just going to pay attention to that uh, high Dow, Dow, Dow number. Now, inside that high Dow number, if you want to see something that's pretty wild, Big Blue. Keep your eye on Big Blue. Big Blue can't handle this 210. We're at 209.32 again, uh, and if, if the Dow is going to basically get into high numbers, stay into high numbers, well, Big Blue would be way over this. She should be at uh, 214, 215 right now in a heartbeat. We go take a look at the, uh, let's see, let's go to the uh, bond market next. So, bonds out here. What do we have with bonds? We take a look at the 30 year first. This is what you have. Had a huge expansion last Friday. 
And it totally makes sense that we're at 147.06. This baby can get all the way down to 145.05. That would be a natural retracement in a market that wants to go higher. That's what you have. Uh, what we did out here today, you had gone topside on Friday with 580,000 contracts. You're pulling back with 324. Um, this, this is a huge move, folks. So we started from 140 and got all the way up to 148. Non-stop, by the way, okay? So you can expect you're going to get a pullback. That pullback with lighter volume is setting up a larger ABC structure on the way up. Gold contract we have with the gold out here is this. So you, you still have, we still have divergence. And with the, the, the divergence in the gold market, is this, folks. XAU, HUI, and confirmed ABC structures on the way down. The gold contract itself hit that low out there of uh, 1539. She's going to go get tested. She's at 1572 right now. The real question is going to be, is that going to be the bottom, or is it going to be another larger ABC structure on the way down? Uh, when she took out the B point last week, the actual contract didn't have enough volume. Um, bottom line, XAU, HUI, though, Big volume all the way downtown. Let's get a Tom in Tampa. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing great. You have a good weekend out there? Uh, an excellent weekend. How about you? Yes, it was absolutely beautiful, wasn't it? Amazing. It folks. sure was. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Nice and cool in the morning. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to hey, take you. a look at the euro, right? Yeah. You think that uh, wants to get up to it about that uh, 131.62, or do you, uh, you, sit, uh, you think we're going to get up that high on that? I do. Okay, so we well, check this out, folks. So the euro right now is trading 130.02. And, you know, this is after the, the first huge leg down. We went from 137, got into 127.51. Um, it was pushing in there today, couldn't handle it today. What I would do is this, Tom. Um, I would coordinate the euro, okay, now with the bonds, okay? So. Okay. If you, if let me, uh, I'll pull up the ten year right now too, and you can take a look at this, folks. See when you when you when you're doing the the currencies in general, folks. Okay, if you cor correlate it, I, you know, with the bond market, with the dollar, your probability of getting in at uh, a much better spot goes up dramatically. So the ten year out here right now is 132. Okay, that had gone from 130 up to uh, 132. This 10-year looks to me like, you know, you can pull back to the 131.23, which is a full point, right? So as that's pulling back there, if you see that pull back there with lighter volume, reject the price, and then we go back over to the euro, what would be happening with the euro then, folks, is this. The euro would be running into this 131.34 level, and so the 131 is a 0.382 expansion from the leg down. 132.50, or 31 actually, is the 50. So what I would do, Tom, is this. Correlate the euro, the bond, and then let's go over to the dollar index, okay? So we take a look at the dollar index. And what happens, folks, is that if you do this, your probability goes up pretty dramatically. So today in the dollar, we had 19,000 contracts, okay, but a sideways move. What should happen when the bonds have pulled back with lighter volume, when the euro has gone higher, the dollar index should be testing about 87.20, no, 82.22, about 600 ticks down. And where I'm going with that, Tom and folks, is the March 15th level. And you know, as close as you get all of those together, then you pull the trigger, man, on shot in the euro. Okay, so uh, we, we, we do think that 131.62 uh, is, is pretty much a game. We could even see 132.40. Yeah, we could. In the pond. No, no, we yeah. could. We could. And, you know, uh, it's 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 going to be a good scene, man. That's the bottom line. <laughs> okay. All right. Cook it, brother. Thanks, Tom. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. When I say a good scene, folks, see... Once we have a trader's market now, and what a trader's market specifically is, is this, folks. It's a market that moves, number one. It is a market that is correlated, and we're correlated in a big way. Um, and if you take, you know, those three there, you, uh, those three there, you actually can trade off of the indices also, folks. The, the key to understand is that your Dow and your S&P wants to go to highs. Big deal. Let them go to highs. Who cares? Okay? Play the 
ABC structure on the way down uh, in the NASDAQ and in the small caps. And in the euro, it's a beautiful thing, man. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.